guys this is Joel in today's video we are going to check out the Dunkin Biscuit Blitz uh, wheel cleaner wheel and tire cleaner um, it has a it has a rather okay smell I just opened it and one important thing to show that it has some particles floating on the bottom so before you use it definitely shake it well now you can use it either uh, concentrated as it is or you can dilute it all the way up to uh, 1 to 10 so if it's a lightly dirty wheel or tires and you frequently use it not like once a year then you can make even five and a half liters of solution out of this one bottle so that sounds rather economical but let's have a look how is it going to perform now I'm going to use it in uh, 1 to 10 dilution. I'm going to test it as usual. Um, I will use the wheels in pairs, so starting at the front and then go to the back. Uh, first I'm going to apply it on a dry wheel. I um, just let it settle a bit and then I rinse it off. Then I rinse off the other wheel, spray it on, leave it on and then rinse it off and then I do the same on the rear but uh, over there I'm going to use the brush so let's kick it yep just one more note for the small print um, I received this product from www.waxwork.hu I will leave the link in the description of course and normally they send a measuring cup so don't forget to use that one when you uh, create the dilution and um, also they are sending you a pair of gloves so use it I'm not going to use now the gloves because it's easier for me to operate the phone whilst recording but otherwise I would I didn't mention um, this time I'm not going to wait for it to dry and whatever I'm just quickly going to the next one because in the morning I lost shed lots of time because of rain so now I need to make it up somehow so first now I'm going all around I do each as I do normally and then at the end I show it around one more time and I will tell you the conclusion This is the wheel 
where I just applied it when it was dry. When I rinsed it off, I could clearly see some dirt coming off with the water, but definitely you need to agitate it with a brush or uh, something that you normally use for agitating. And as you can see, it's uh, well, it still has a lots of browning on the tire, so it didn't remove. But honestly, I didn't expect it, so I, I knew that it's not going to be a spray-on rinse off uh, cleaner. Let's move to the next one. All right, this one is the other uh, wheel where I rinsed it off first, and then I applied, and then rinsed it off again. Um, similar to the other one. I, the result is very much the same, so it definitely needs uh, to be agitated. So let's move to the next one. Okay, this is the other wheel where I applied it dry and then I agitated with a brush. And uh, it is much cleaner than the other ones were, but I didn't remove all the browning. So yeah, I, I'm going to check maybe with one more round if I apply it on the tire one more time what's going to happen. But let's have a look at the other wheel first. Also need to mention that I can see some uh, rust slash fallout which is still embedded in the wheel. But of course after agitating it, it's, it's considerably better than just the spray on rinse off. Okay, this is the other wheel, the last one, where first I rinsed it off, then I applied and then I agitated. Um, it is considerably better than the normal spray on rinse off versions. Um, but it, yeah, um, you need to keep in mind that I used it in 1 to 10 dilution. So maybe for this kind of tires, I should have used um, stronger solution. But anyhow, I just go around one more time on one of these tires just to see how is it going to perform after a second application. Okay, whilst the other uh, tire is drying, I'm going to use now in 1 to 5 dilution on one of these uh, front tires or wheels, uh, where it is real brown as you can see. So this is one of the front wheels where I just sprayed on and then rinsed off. And for the second time in a one to five dilution, uh, I agitated. So obviously from the wheel, it took the dirt off nicely. Um, but on the tire, there is still some browning. I'm going to check one more thing for the sake of fun. But first, let's go back to the rear uh, tire or wheel where I applied a second layer of 1 to 10 dilution on the tire just to see um, what happened. Yeah, so this is the one at the rear where I applied a second layer. I'm not sure how much more it removed because even the foam looked uh, rather white-ish for the second application and it still has some browning. So maybe in full strength but I don't want to try that one now uh, maybe on another tire later on so yep anywho let's see uh, that's it let's check out something else oh, I forgot to mention that this car belongs to one of my viewers from YouTube and he's got some of his own uh, cleaning or detailing products that he brought over it's not like he's making it or, or making them or uh, selling them it's some products that he's using so now I just applied some of that one and we will see if it improves any further
Okay, this is the other side. Um, I've done the same treatment obviously here too, um, but the other one is, or the other two wheels are in the shadow, so this one dries quicker. As you can see, um, yeah, the this browning on the tires is still visible, so even this um, other well-known brand in Hungary with the iron fallout remover didn't really improve much on the state. Of course, it removed some iron fallout. Uh, we've seen it turning purple, but for example, the browning of the tire remained exactly the same. I would say it's, it's nothing better than it was before. So let's do some conclusion. Okay, there you go. So that was the Dunking Biscuit Blitz wheel and tire cleaner. It worked very well in 1 to 10 dilution. It worked very well in 1 to 5. Most likely on the full strength, it would also work just fine too. Considering that this is a non-acidic wheel cleaner, it's, it's working fine. Uh, I can hands-on heart recommend. It's a good value for money because you can dilute it all the way up to 10 times and it, it works fine. It's not the best I've ever seen, but those ones are also more expensive usually, at least for the same quantities. Um, yeah, what, can, what else can I say? Yep, the smell of it, it's not bad. It's nothing special, it's not great either. It's, it's okay, it has this typical chemical smell uh, but it's fine, so it's not scratching your at the back of your throat or something. So it's it's all good in my opinion. So I can only recommend it. So yeah, why not? It, it's a good product, so go for it. And now let's have a well-deserved biscuit after the work. Ooh, yummy! Mm, that was delicious that was it about this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos i would like to say a big thank you for your time again as usual and wishing you a nice rest of the day catch you on the next one Bye bye